Welcome to the Home Illusion tutorial for creating a print calibration test. Uh, this will help you align the prints to the lens. Let's go ahead and start by launching Home Illusion and once the create window shows click the preference button. The preference window will show and uh, you can see we have several printer types we can select from and we also have uh, several lens types uh, that we can select from. But we're going to use the default PI40 today. Go ahead and click the Create Test button, and it'll name it automatically for us, depending on our lens and resolution. And we're going to go ahead and save this in our tutorial files. And it will create a calibration for us. And this will create several different lines, and each line will be numbered 1 through 10. Uh, the line that turns solid black or solid white the best is the correct pitch to use. And once this is finished uh, creating the calibration, it will automatically prompt the user with the print dialog uh, so that you may print it to the correct printer, which would be the one you chose in the, the printing preferences. Always remember to use highest quality printer settings and highest quality inkjet paper so that you get the best uh, resulting information. And now it will finish up and prompt you with the print. And once the image is printed, lay it on a flat surface under a good light source. And take a sheet of the PI40 lens and lay it over the top. And you can see if I twist it here, it'll get many lines running through it. But as I turn it to where it's parallel with the print, I get fewer and fewer lines. So now I have it completely parallel. And you can see that already I'm getting number seven as the correct alignment because it turns solid black all the way across. The others gradiate. You can see I can also align this to white. And it's solid white all the way across, which means this is the correct pitch. The other pitches gradiate across, which means the lens does not quite fit the frequency of that line. So we know now that number seven is the correct pitch when using 40 with our particular printer. And that's all there is to calibration. So once we have that chosen, uh, we'll simply go back into the preferences window and choose number seven. And you'll see it'll immediately say complete. And from now on, when we're into 40, hit OK. And from now on, when we're into 40, we'll get the correct pitch. Thank you for taking the time to view our calibration tutorial.